साईराम स्टुडंट्स आय वेलकम ऑल ऑफ यू वन सगेन आय होप सो दॅट यू हॅव डन व्हेरी वेल इन युअर फर्स्ट सेमिस्टर एक्झामिनेशन आय नो दॅट यू मस्ट हॅव एन्जॉईड अवर ऑनलाईन टेस्ट ॲज वेल इज एन इट सो नाव लेट स्टार्ट विथ अवर सेकंड टर्म सो हिअर इट इज अवर फर्स्ट लेसन ऑफ सेकंड टर्म दॅट इज लेसन नंबर सिक्स्टीन द वॉटर ओके सो दिस इज अ न्यू टॉपिक विच वी आर गोईंग टू स्टार्ट टुडे so you all know that student the water it is very essential in our day to day life it is indispensable part of all living organism so water is essential for all type of the living organism for the survival purpose so can you tell me that student which are the three states of the water there are three states of the water which exist in the nature and all these three states of the water you have already learned am i right so can you tell me which are the three states of the water can you guess yes you are absolutely right so there are basically three states of the water as you can see that over here solid gases and liquid these are the three states of the water that means water can remain in the solid state also water can remain in liquid state also and water can occur in the gaseous states also so these are the three different states of the water which we are using in our day to day life isn't it so students here you must have seen that most of the time there are many things which we dissolve in the water right suppose if if we put a spoonful of sugar sawdust and soil in a glass of water then may i know what will happen we took a glass of water in that glass of water separately we added sugar then in another glass we added sawdust and in another glass we added soil okay we stirred it very well with the spoon so after some time what will you observe guess what will observe so if you observe it after some time these are the results which you will see in front of you am i right so you can see that the transparent glass which you can see what will be here in this glass sugar or soil of course sugar will be there so the sugar when we stir in a glass of water it is completely soluble in water am i right and suppose when we added soil in a glass of water and even we stirred it with a spoon the soil is not dissolved completely it is looking muddy am i right so what is the conclusion of this part so can i say that from this experiment sugar is soluble in water and at the other hand sawdust and soil they are insoluble in water am i right so when we add sugar or when we add salt also it gets completely dissolved in water and we get the transparent solution like this but when we add the soil and sawdust etc we get a muddy solution so students can you tell me during rainy season etc we get such type of the muddy water for drinking okay can we drink such type of the water but mostly during rainy season etc we get that type of the muddy water so suppose if we want to clean the water then what we can do for cleaning the water is there any way so that we can clean it properly and then we can consume it any guesses what are the ways to purify the water at the basically at our home level yes at home first of all what we do we do the boiling of water what we do boiling so when we boil the water that time whatever germs whatever microorganism which are present inside the water they will die immediately and our water it will become safe for consumption and at the same time if filter is available at home even we can filter out the water to make it safe for consumption is that clear so students many of the time the water which we get from the water body it is completely contaminated so this contaminated part of the water which we get mostly from the uh, water bodies this is called as what pollution of water so what do you exactly mean by the pollution of the water 
who causes the pollution of the water how exactly it causes and what we can do to avoid the pollution of the water so that everything we are going to learn in this topic step by step so this is how the polluted water looks like there are a lot of germs microorganism dust particle okay there are many things which are present over here so let's see what is exactly the pollution of the water who exactly causes all this thing so basically when the other substances other than water when any type of these substances when it is mixed with water it becomes impure so can i say that this water is completely impure because in this water other substances are added which are not at all soluble okay so some of these substances float in the water so can you see that there are many of the substances which are floating here in the water okay and that's why you can see that the water is looking unclean so here you can see the water is not completely clean it is completely unclean water okay and here also you can see that over here some substances dissolve in water and we cannot see them like there are many type of the microorganism which might be present in this water but those microorganism we can't see them right if these substances that got mixed with the water are very harmful for the living things we say that the water has become polluted so when we say that the water is become polluted when in water many of the living things and many of the harmful substances they get mixed with the water that time we say that the water has become polluted so students you must have seen that uh, from river from lake we get the water so can i say that river lakes are the sources of the water for us right so you must have seen that most of the time the river bodies and the lakes etc they get polluted how does their water gets polluted any idea so let's see that how exactly this river and the lake etc get polluted so you know that student most of the time whatever waste water is formed at our home it is disposed of from our home like you must have seen that our washroom waste okay toilet waste urinary waste toilet waste and the water which is left over after washing of the cloth and the utensil that also disposed of in the river and the lake <coughs> sorry so the waste water of the city or the town etc it is collected and it let into the water body at the convenient location so from our home whatever waste water comes out that is collected in the sewage water that goes inside the sewage water and this sewage water from the city or town it is collected commonly and then it is disposed of out of the city somewhere else so you can see that the waste water from the residential building as well as from the factory and the industry they contain many type of the impurity i am not telling you that only the water which is produced at home that is only impure many of the time the factory water and the industry water that is also contaminated it has a lot of impurity so we have to make it clear so you can see that student over here there are many of the substances which are not soluble in the water so most of the time you must have seen that many of the people they throw their garbage in the lake they throw their garbage in the sea also which is completely wrong so you can see that in the sewage water microorganisms are also present so the sewage water which contains the microorganism that are able to spread the diseases am i right and at the same time do you know that the waste water which are collected from the industry they also contain the poisonous substances and if such type of the poisonous substances if they go into the water bodies like river and the sea etc they are harmful for the living organism which are present in the water fish are present in the water other aquatic animals are present in the water so these poisonous substances they might kill the uh, living thing which are present in the water and they causes the water pollution so if all this waste water is let into the water body as it is 
the water body becomes polluted and it becomes dangerous and uh, as i told you that river they are the source of the water for us for drinking so if river and the lake they get contaminated like this then we won't get drinking water so if you want that we should get safe drinking water then it is our moral responsibility to keep around our surrounding and the environment clean is that clear students so that's why you must have seen that such water as i told you can't be used for the drinking or for any purpose so that is why it is compulsory for factory owner to treat the water before letting it out so in the factory people treat the water they make it less impure then only they release into the water bodies so it is compulsory for the factory owner to clean the water is that clear students over here so similarly here you can see that the sewage and the other waste water of the towns and the cities it is also processed for purification before it is letting into the water body this helps to prevent the pollution of the water so there are many steps which we have to take to prevent the water pollution and first of all students always remember that see to that we will create less water pollution wherever you will go for the picnic or something like that throw the water bottle or wrapper etc only in dustbin don't throw the wrapper or bottle used bottle or garbage into the water bodies you have to throw only it into the dustbin so that we can clean the water we can make it safe for drinking so here you can see that most of the time the flowing water of the river gets purified to some extent by the natural process so always remember that the flowing water of the river it is actually safe for the consumption so suppose if you go somewhere for hangout etc if you are very thirsty the if water is not available so you can just use the flowing water of the river which is actually safe for the consumption so that's why before water is supplied to the town or the cities it has to be get purified so here you can see that here in such case the water is purified at the water level and then only such purified water is supplied to the town and the cities is that clear students so what we have learned today we have learned today regarding the water pollution so what is basically water pollution other than water if anything extra gets added into the water that makes the water turbid and that makes the water impure such impurity of the water it is called as what pollution of the water so there are many type of the soluble substances and the insoluble substances which are present in the water and which makes this water unsafe for the consumption so if we want to make the water safe for the consumption either we have to boil the water or either we have to filter out the water okay student so the next part of this topic we will see you in the next session bye bye take care